Okay, so a really good place to start every day inside the system is inside your weekly goals, and here's why. I've been keeping track of weekly goals, weekly action steps, whatever you want to call them for a while now, and just over the last three months, here's a quick look down below me talking here. The last three months of adherence to weekly goals. Food-related goals, not so great, 43%. Exercise, 97%. Lifestyle goals, 66%. And then, of course, if you want more detail or the next step is to come over here to the left and click on weekly goals in the navigation. And that, of course, takes you into your list of weekly goals and the history of weekly goals inside. I have a lot. I've been uh, tracking these for a while. But you can see by looking at the screen immediately, and this is why it's a really good place to start, is that there aren't any active ones. There's nothing for me to check off here. These are all old goals, so I need to set a couple of new ones. So I'm going to do that first, first thing. Add a new weekly goal. I'm going to call it a lifestyle goal. And seven days this week is the goal. So that's, it starts today. It's going to go through uh, Saturday. Weird of next week. It's on the same line. It's throwing me off. Yoga. Do some yoga. That's it. No time limit. No nothing. Just do some yoga. And then I have a yoga every day three month goal set. So I'm going to attach it to that so that it ticks off on that. Click OK. OK. Good. Now I've got one and I did it this morning. So I'm going to check it off. Kind of a good feeling. Come in here. Set the new weekly goal. Check it off. Progress is being made. What are goals really? What are they? What are they to you? I have some notes here, so I'm going to be looking up and down. Setting them and tracking them guarantees you will accomplish more progress in less time. And I've seen this over and over again in my own life and in clients who track and keep track and really engage with the program. They get better results. It's that simple. But it's the discipline of it. Don't like tracking this stuff. I've never heard that before, really. You, you don't like writing things down, meticulously keeping track of everything you're doing relating to your health and fitness program. You don't have anything else to do but write all the stuff down that you're doing around food and exercise. I know, I realize most people don't love tracking stuff. But most people don't get the kind of results they're looking for either. Tracking is a key element. What I've done inside the system here, though, is simplify it. Just with the weekly goals system here, if that's the only system you use was weekly goals, and every week you came back to the table and you said, this is what I'm going to shoot, shoot for this week, you'll be miles ahead of everyone else, and you will be accomplishing things and doing things. Even if your adherence isn't great, like you saw on the home screen here, my adherence is not great to my nutrition-related goals. Food, 43%. Now I need to look back and see what those goals were, what I was trying to do. I know what I'm trying to do for 2014. I'm going to have some new ones on the table. I'm going to set some three-month benchmarks for the first quarter of the year, etc. Weekly goals are the place to start inside the system here. But I wanted to provide a little bit of commentary on goals and what are they and how, how do you relate to them. Because I realize everybody comes to them a little bit differently. First thing, but there are three really important things about goals that I want to say. The first thing is goals. And I think this is helpful. I'm going to try this. Um, I saw a guy do this online recently. He put a text on the screen like this. So we're talking about goals. And he just typed as he talked. So you have something else to look at and focus on. There, first of all, goals are not, are not outcomes like weight and body fat. They are not outcomes. A lot of people, if you ask them, so what is your goal? They come in to see me, what are your goals? They'll immediately talk about how much weight they want to lose, how they want to get their blood pressure down, etc. Those are just outcomes of other things. What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish by embarking on this journey? What, what, was, what were the reasons that you came into the online personal training center? And then the second, well, so that's just the first thing. Goals are not outcomes, all right? It's a really important distinction. Outcomes are generated by a list of weekly action steps and weekly goals and all that good stuff. Two, your goals are subject to constant review, updating, changing, deleting, depending on the circumstances and depending on what's going on. Now, I'm not saying that you just abandon goals because they're difficult and you want to switch to new ones. I'm saying that things change. 
And it is one of the, the criticism of goals that I've heard from other authors and other people is that they're very limiting. They put you in this narrow box and either you accomplished it or you didn't kind of thing. Well, that's, those are the people who are thinking about once they set a goal, that's it. It never changes. Come on, this is a dynamic process. This is life. Things happen. Things change. Your goals should evolve right along with it, which is why I like inside the system here. You know, you can set these goals for any length of time, but a week time frame is good because like today I come back in, I haven't logged in for a few days and really logging in every day is the key. I can't remember exactly what I did, but all my goals have expired. I know that. So let's just start from scratch and let's reset some new ones based on what's going on in my life in the coming week. What makes sense for me to tackle? Number three, let's see if I can get the right yes thing to come back up on the screen. They are the foundation of the systems you need to create in your life to be successful in anything. Okay, so they are the foundation of your systems. For example, I guess the example I've been using over and over again recently is breakfast with protein. Let's because it's a good example of one action step that is multiple action steps and that is ultimately a system at the base of it to get it right. If you're going to eat breakfast with protein every week, you need to have a meal plan. You need to go to the store and you need to get the stuff that you need. If you're on the road, you need to plan ahead. If you have to go into work early two mornings a week, you have to think about what you're going to do specifically on those mornings. That's a system you need to develop. What are the first three things you need to do? To start getting that system in order those are your weekly action steps around nutrition that's a, that's an example but that's why they are the foundation of your success because otherwise things go in a million directions life never goes as planned at least if 80 percent of the time or better you're adhering to these weekly goals and they were set properly and they were the things that made the most sense for you at the time you will make progress and i have seen that over and over again so the weekly goals are at the heart of the system. Now, let's see, do I have any other notes on goals that I wanted to comment on? No. And remember, today we are just talking about weekly goals. I encourage you to also set three month goals. Three month goals, thinking about today, 90 days from today, where do you want to be? And you can attach those three month goals to weekly goals. And I'm talking about that in other videos. I'm not going to go into all that this time. But these are important too because you want to be able to see your progress on these things and for all the skeptics out there who will say things like well this is the problem with goals is that you've set them up and then you're checking something off and and, it, and it's a very limiting kind of feeling and especially if it doesn't happen if you decide to go in a different direction come on really you don't want to keep track you need to keep track if you want to know where you've been and to set even more realistic action steps each week going forward, tracking is essential. 20 plus years I've been doing this work. I feel very strongly about that. I was just as resistant as you early on. But again, I've come up with some unique proprietary methods, systems, strategies for tracking that won't bog you down. Just follow these videos. Stay with me. This is John Ashworth, the Fitness Nomad.